Welcome everybody currently tuning in. I go by the name of Why So Many and today I got the pleasure of interviewing one of the most popping up and coming group. It ain't even really a group because my dog over here wanted to manage and we got two artists to the left but I ain't even going to do too much talking. I'm going to let them introduce y'all selves and y'all do y'all thing. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? I'm Seven Baby Zoo. I'm fucking with Cash and I'm fucking with Flash. Big Cash, y'all <laughs> you already know what the fuck going on. Seven K Entertainment. Live in Atlanta, you know what the fuck is going K on. 7K and TV here. <laughs> yeah. 7K be the game. Shout out YSO Manny. You already know what the fuck going on. I don't even got to do too much speaking, but he got the bars. I got the other shit. I'm cleaning it up, and my nigga, he going to put it out there. Yeah. <laughs> All right, man. Y'all let these folks know where y'all from. And I'm from Raleigh. Raleigh, North Carolina. Raleigh. 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 Hey, so so how is it growing up, or how is it being in Raleigh, as far as being a musician? Man, it's tough. It's like crabs in the barrel out there, to be honest with you. And we just trying to do it, show love to the city, and everybody support. Man, honestly, it, it it really started off on some shit like motherfuckers, motherfuckers won't fucking with the way it bring to you until we really got in our bag, bro. Niggas ain't wanna see, niggas ain't wanna just see us win off GP. Niggas had to, niggas had to put that extra work in, bro. Ain't no handouts out there, bro. Ain't no handouts. Is there any opportunities for independent artists like y'all to be able to showcase y'all talents? Not many. It's not a lot unless of shows. You, you got to be on the move. A lot of times. That's why we out here push really. Yourself. Yeah, you got to goddamn market. You feel me? Yeah. Like I said, network, like get around. Shit. I, I'm about to say it don't take shit. It don't take shit, but just the network. You gotta fuck yeah, with the right people. Ain't nobody gonna reach out until you up there, for real. Ain't <laughs> yeah, nobody gonna, gonna reach out. Get that shit. All right, what made y'all want to pursue music? Shit, it's really a dream I have with a lot of people. You feel me? Got big bro in the jail. He wanted to be a rapper. You feel me? I just feel like yeah. I had the gift, so I just turned up. With it. Everybody telling me go with this shit, so I just said fuck it. <laughs> now nah, real shit, bro. For me, it all circled back to when I was a little ass, bad ass jit. I like my brother just always told me, bro, I go through this shit, so you don't gotta go through it, bro. So I feel like I gotta go through this shit, so so he ain't gotta go through it. When he come home, he right on top. He where he's supposed to be. All right, all right. What was the first song y'all ever released? <laughs> for me, for me and bro, it was it was a uh, bag. I, it was it was crazy cause we dropped bag on this day and we had did so much planning for this shit, yo. Like we was ready for it. And my my partner, my my main man P, he had dropped this other song with me and him on it the same night. And I was so mad, bro. I was mad as fuck. What was it called? Uh, F FTB. Man, it was uh, from the bottom, from the oh, bottom. Okay. Yeah, facts, okay, man. Okay, okay. We just dropped that shit. And ever since then, bro, we did it. We had recorded a little video after P got locked up. And ever since then, bro, it was up. How, how was how was the video? Uh, did it come out the way y'all expected it to come out? Right, and the video it was, was just me and bro. It was just well, <laughs> it was new. It was all new, so it was just like you feel me. We all put it together ourselves. Nigga, so it was just like, right okay, then and there went yeah, playing under like, that whatever, shit, yo. You feel me? Like okay, this mic was supposed to be. You feel me? This way. <laughs> how you do this shit? We won't. We, we won't. I honestly <laughs> won't. Ready to shoot a music video like. Even if even if that shit was still out today, like if you seen some clips in there with some, it was just me trying new shit, bro. Trying, it was me trying to put myself out there. Yeah, yeah, that's and, all it was. And for bro, really, it was really he was stepping out his comfort comfort zone completely because he he come from an era where he let him his shell, himself prove everything. You feel me? He played basketball, that he played sports. Sure. You feel me? We we really had to go out there, and be some pretty boys, my nigga. I'm not no pretty boy. I'm a street nigga. Like <laughs> we we get down and dirty. For real, for real. That shit was perfect though. It started off everything, bro. Have y'all ever had any live performances? <laughs> nope, still waiting. Uh -huh. Man, <laughs> shit. Get it. I'm gonna I'm be, I'm, I perform any chance I get. If it's right. 10 people, 5 people, you feel me? Let's get it. If it's a stage, I'm standing on that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Okay. So, um, have y'all released y'all first mixtape yet? Still putting it together. Really? really, we just got. I've been building on like singles and shit, just trying to make a fan base and all that shit. And once I got their all attention, we gonna hit them with that big shit. That. Niggas want to actually put the perfect project together, not just the project yeah, yeah, we've been working too. for 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 this long. You feel me? The song's out there though. The shit gonna put together. Out there, though. So 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 what's a what's an estimated date for the people when y'all gonna drop that first tape? 
Shit. Shit. And I know for a fact. Definitely I, before the summer. Next I, summer and I, I know for a fact when the summer hit, we going to drop a little mixtape on July 7th. You feel me? Because 7, 7, 20, you feel me? This is going to be our year. You feel me? Okay. It's straight 7 shit only. Taking off. <laughs> All right. So, does y'all music come from personal experience? Or is it more so of a metaphorical sounds good rap? Man, I can tell I got, you this. Yeah, we got, I got a lot of different sounds, really, though. Like, a lot of songs where I write, I get a lot of inspiration, you know, through real life situations and shit, but you know, a lot of times we get in the stool, we just catch the vibe and we just go running with it, you know what I'm saying? Shit. It's however you know, I'm, time is music. I'm gonna be honest, like, yeah, time is music. Yeah, time it, it started is. off like, it started off making making songs, you feel me? Just, just trying to make some shit hot, you feel me? And then it started off going through shit. But at the, at the state we at right now, I feel like we can give it to you however you want it, you feel me? Yeah, if I you want look, the drip. Yeah, yeah, I just look at it like creating art, you feel, you feel me? me? We painting a picture like Kodak for yet, you feel me? Yeah, it's <laughs> free yet, free yet, man. All right, so what made y'all start taking your music seriously? Shit. Shit. It, ain't, it ain't no other way to go about it. You just wasting your time and money if you ain't. Man, if you I'm, ain't really investing in yourself and, and trying to put yourself out there and getting in the stoop, putting them hours in, you ain't going to get shit. You ain't really doing that. You're just I'm wasting your it, time, so I had to go hard. I'm going to keep it seven thousand while I like, when it come down to me, I always wanted to put my face out there. I always wanted to show face, but when it come to me, he made me like do this shit professionally, you feel me? Like he made me see the business of this shit, you feel me? And see the bread of this shit. Alright, alright. So how is the music scene in North Carolina? Um uh, in Raleigh? Is anybody up and coming out there that y'all rock with? It's Man. growing. It's growing like I, hell. It's just I'm, I'm gonna call out some names right now. Yeah. My nigga Raleigh Pot and my nigga and my nigga 919, 919 you feel yeah. me? He putting on for the 919. Bro, if you can add it up. Like bro, bro. we got some songs with I got a song with bro. Both of them out now, right now. Fuck your freestyle. Go check that shit out too. You feel me? Like it's not too many niggas we fuck with, but it, it good music, good music. You yeah, feel me? We fuck with who fuck with us, basically. I'm rocking like, like that. You feel me? But we growing for sure. Riley is on the come up. It's, I'm really, we really trying to develop a, a new, whole. not even a new sound, bro. We trying to put it. We trying to put a new vibe in the air. You feel me? I'm trying to put them summer '16 vibes back in the air. <laughs> fuck the bullshit. Right, you yeah. feel me? Yeah. Saying? <laughs> Man. All right. So. In, in pursuing the music, have y'all destroyed any relationships with people? Shit, a couple bitches. A lot of shit, yeah. <laughs> uh, Just come with anything, yeah. Real shit, like, you know, fucking with the music shit, you know, don't no parent want to hear that niggas gonna do music, you feel me? Like, my mama won't try and hear that shit, my brother was on that shit, you feel me? But everything all good as well, because business before, business before pleasure. Two words on my mouth. You feel me? Like, fuck everybody else. I'm, I'm thinking about my mama, my daddy, my, my cousins, and these niggas. You feel me? <laughs> All right. Do y'all think social media has helped uh, build a lot of up-and-coming artists and get them more opportunities that they wouldn't have had before social media? Of course. It definitely creates a lot of opportunities, but it's pros and cons of everything. Man. But I just feel like it's it's a lot easier for everybody to put it in everybody's face, you know, to promote your shit and market it. Niggas. It's right there, you feel me? You pull up your niggas. phone and everybody on Social there. media's got it's us here boost. right now. You feel me? We, 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 we brought ourselves all the way out here, bro, but you phone, feel me? Yeah. This shit, this shit, this shit, media this shit is stronger shit, than That's everybody. I, I, ain't, I, ain't, I ain't worried about all the negatives because even the negative shit come with a positive, bro. You feel what I'm saying? Like, this shit just exposed you. I don't give a fuck how I got to give it to you. I'm going to give it to you, bro. This shit like the trap and everything selling. <laughs> if y'all could do a collab mixtape with one artist, who would it be? One artist. One artist. Shit. All right, see, it's kind of tough, but I'm gonna just go with my boy Dolph, bro. All right. He got the Why Dolph? He just like that, bro. <laughs> he he speak for himself. You feel me? He, he on his paper route. Paper shit. route. Doing what he posted. Man, fuck it. I'ma say Polo Got G, that bro. That nigga, G? Hot. that nigga hot. Bro. <laughs> that nigga party. I'm with the game. Alright. He got it, Polo bro. G. He got it, bro. Fuck okay. Alright. Look, my man, my man's over here. He don't rap. He the manager if y'all ain't know. You feel what I'm saying? He in the country <laughs> scary sight. You feel what I'm saying? You know, it's a lovely night in the city. Man. man. Shit, shit. I got a question. I got a question for you though. Who your favorite artist, like, before the sound, before your wave, like, who you really Start this shit basically off the you feel me? 
bro. I gotta give it to that boy Herbo, bro. That niggas be speaking the <laughs> truth, bro. Hey, man, shout out G Herbo. My, my out shorty G from Herbo, Illinois, bro. and she love G Herbo. Already, yeah. She love him. She yeah. love G Herbo. Bro, you, you know talking this correct. shit, though. Bro. <laughs> yeah, you he talking this shit. He know what he doing. Like, Facts. When I actually, actually, when I first, when I first listened to G Herbo, I saw a video of him on World Star, and I was like, what? People is really like listening to him rap like yeah. this. He really rapping like this. And then when I really yeah. started listening to him, I was he like, this talking about, he really he talking, yeah. he talking about some he really giving up really the G shit. Yeah, he really yeah. giving up the song. Real man. But motherfuckers yeah. gonna cut, gonna hop on the wave once once the shit start popping. Yeah. Bro. It just take time. Seven K gonna be out there. Believe that. <laughs> <laughs> Leave that. Leave that. Yo, this shit crazy, bro. This shit crazy. What do y'all plan on accomplishing next year, 2020, for 7K? Having a, a strong foundation and be able to being able to build from that, you know, just making a lot of a lot of connections, networking, and, and spreading spreading the message. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna I'm just getting just, everybody in tune. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna put it at the numbers. He done said the main basis. Man, shit. We 7K, but literally I need more than 7K, bro. You feel me? I'm talking about by the time December 31st hit of 2020, my nigga, I need like 100 racks <laughs> tucked up. Come on, let's do this shit. Facts. Facts. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing. Ain't nothing. Ain't nothing gonna lie in the numbers. Fuck that shit. Hey, so what's the best advice y'all have ever been given? We gonna start with. We gonna start with over here to the left. Shit, the best advice I ever had was stay genuine. Don't force nothing that ain't that ain't meant to be. You feel me? Just let let everything play its own part. Mine would be never stop. Never stop. If you if you started something and you feel like you can get what you want out of it, keep doing that shit. It's, it's ups and downs in this shit. It's gonna be stops, going backwards, all that shit. <laughs> Goddamn reroute. Keep going. Do what you gotta do. You Man, know. never so stop. Okay. Man. All right, before y'all leave this earth, what's one thing y'all want 7K to be remembered for? Man, first and foremost, 7K gonna got them put on for my dog, long live Dez, you feel me? My dog ain't with, with us no more, you feel me? He put, he died for this shit, he yeah. put on for this shit, like, some fuck shit you feel too. me? Like, bro was a hooper. Bro was a hooper, bro was, bro was destined Nasty to do too. great things, you feel me? Before I get up out of here, I want to know, I want niggas to know that we really on some positive shit, like, yeah, we, we really trying to... Be. We really trying to uni unify yeah. everybody. Bro. It ain't it ain't about the hate. I'm brushing all that shit off. I ain't even got them holding no grudges, you feel me? Just know when I'm up, it's up. And I'm doing that shit, bro. That way. That way. Thanks. Thanks. Alright. Is there uh, is there anything y'all wanna add? <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of shit I wanna add for real life. Hey yo, just check us out for real, goddamn. Hey, y'all let them know y'all social media. Man, I'm fn.zoo, you feel me? The shit ain't gonna change for a little minute, you feel me? 7 baby underscore cash, get the, that right. The Twitter 7 oh, baby yeah. zoo, and when I say zoo, it's Z-U, not Z-O-O, -O, cause I ain't crazy. 7 <laughs> dot flash. Yeah. All right, and I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do, the links for all their social medias will be in the description, so y'all can make sure y'all definitely check them out. Y'all be on the lookout for 7K. Man, listen, <laughs> they got a lot in store you did you feel what i'm saying i ain't even gonna talk too much because i don't already did. told y'all too much already with the interview <laughs> so look man so we appreciate y'all tuning in man we appreciate everybody and until the next time i'm why so many and we out